Have you ever wondered why it's so hard to lose weight and even easier to put it back on? Today on Trey Heart, we find out why. Stick around. If you, like me, are on your weight loss journey, you will eventually start to realize that losing weight is pretty hard. Statistics show that of those who do lose their weight, 50 to 70% put it back on. Have you ever watched the news that covers the celebrities that were in The Biggest Losers? Many people say it's their hormones. Some say it's lack of control or other excuses. The truth is, these are only part of the reason. Today, I'm going to tell you why this is so. You see, your body does not actually want you to lose the weight. In fact, with very few exceptions, while it does not necessarily want you to gain weight, your body does want you to be the largest that you've ever been. This is why it is so important not to gain weight in the first place. But why is this so? Well, unfortunately for you and me, this started over millions of years ago. You see, the human body is driven to survive. Back millions of years ago, there were not refrigerators and supermarkets. If you wanted your food, you would have to forage for it or hunt it down. The closest equivalent we have today would be that of the bear. Yes, the bear. Just like the modern day bear, we were driven to find food that could provide the most calories in the shortest amount of time. We would do this because we knew that we may not have food for days or even weeks. We lived like this for millions of years, and only in the last several thousand years has the modern man lived. Unfortunately, our evolution has not caught up with the modern day. We no longer have to forage or to hunt down for our food, but our bodies are still driven to find food that has the most calories and fat to build up our body stores very quickly. Now the body does not necessarily want to gain weight, but it at least wants to maintain the weight at whatever the highest we are or was. Your body simply wants you to have these stores so that in times of scarcity, you can survive like millions of years ago. So now you know why our body does this. Does this mean that there is no hope? No, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, what it does show is that we are affected by the way we eat. Constant diligence can affect this. The last year, or this last year, the Canadian government and the American Heart Association published their new dietary guidelines. You see, both of them realized that the current suggested diet was not working to prevent heart failure and obesity. As a matter of fact, both of them went along the same route. You see, they reviewed and found a group of people that despite having the modern conveniences were still healthy and had a low incidence of obesity and heart failure. The diet now suggested by both of them is the Mediterranean diet. Now, this is not so much of a diet, but a way of living. You see, in this way of living, they have realized that certain types of fats are very beneficial to the body. The focus is on having fruits and vegetables on every plate. It also includes fish and healthy oils, such as olive oils, along with whole grain carbs. The main thing is to realize that this is not an excuse to be fat or overweight. It is a reminder 
that we all need to be consistent and use our healthy eating plan along with exercise to make ourselves the healthiest we can be. I have included some books on the Mediterranean diet in the information below if you would like to check it out that is. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video please press the like button below and if you're not a current subscriber please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of any new videos as when they come. Remember your health is your wealth.